What's up guys, welcome to my second C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be actually writing our first application with you guys. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do, if you don't already have it open, is open your dev C++ compiler. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch my last tutorial and uh, I'll show you how to get it. And once you open it, go ahead and click File, New, Source File and I already have one open so I don't need to open one and then uh, you get something that will pop up like this and the first thing I like to do is go ahead and click save as and save a new cpp file you can either type new dot cpp or just type new and uh, click cpp from the drop down list it should be on there by default but once you do that go ahead and click save and you won't get that. It's just saying that because I already have a file. And uh, once you have that, you're going to have a tab right here that says New CPP. And this shows that you're working in that right file. So now that you got your file open, let's go ahead and start making our first application. The first thing that we're going to want to do is actually include a file in C++ that's going to help our compiler and to do this we're going to want to use the pound side and type include less than sign and type IO stream Oop, IO stream then use your greater than sign then go to the next line now this is one of the things that you don't really have to know what it does in C++ you just gotta remember to put it in there every time but just in case you're curious, it's a, um, a preprocessor directive, and what it does is just pretty much uh, process a source file before it compiles. So if you don't know what that means, then that's f that's fine. You don't really need to know anything about that. But here is what you do actually need to know. C++ is made above all these things called functions and that's what we're going to be making every single C++ program you make including this one we're going to be making today is made up of functions and functions have two parts the first part is kind of like the title and it's called the function header so let's create that right now so type in the letters INT and this means that we're going to be working with integer and then type in main and then two empty parentheses. This is pretty much the title of our function. Our function's name is main and it's an integer function. On the next line, open with your curly brace and on the next line, put an end in curly brace. And anything you type in between these curly braces are going to be statements. Now, this piece of the function right now is called the body and anything you type in are kind of like instructions for the function and in that sense I mean here's the title and but what do we want the function to do well that's what we're going to be typing right here in something called statements so again to recap we have a function right here it's called the header and the statements are the instructions for the function and every statement ends with a semicolon but before we get all to telling our function what to do, I'm going to have you guys add one more thing, kind of like this, that you don't really need to know what it does, but you need to put it in. And that is called using, and then type in the word namespace, std, and add a semicolon. And in case you guys are curious again what this does, it pretty much tells C++ to use all the basic standard stuff that... C++ uses. So now that we have that as our first rule in our function, let's go ahead and make some fun stuff. Or at least it will be fun to me. The first thing that we want to do is type C out. And this is just basic output on the screen. And then we're going to add something to less signs. That's called the insertion operator. So now we're telling C++, alright, we want you to output on the screen something, but what? Well, let's output first 
make an open quotation mark. And I'm going to type, hey now, brown cow. And then anything you type in your quotation marks is going to be outputted on the screen. And again, remember like I said, this is called a statement. And every statement you have to end with a semicolon. That's telling C++, alright, we gave you an instruction, now do it. So again, to recap, we got this string of text that's inside quotation marks. Our two less signs are card, our insertion operator, and we want you to output this on the screen. And it's just going to read just like you're typing an email or reading a letter, nothing fancy, just plain text on the screen. The next thing I want to do is show you guys how to make a new line. To do that, type C out, output on the screen, and type end L. That's L as in line, not a 1. Then put your semicolon. So now we have Hey Now Brown Cow in our program. And on our new line, let's make something else. Again, C out. You guys are going to get good at outputting on the screen, at least. Then remember quotation mark say don't jump that fence hey now brown cow don't jump that fence end it with your quotation marks then enter another insertion operator and type in end L that's gonna end the other line so again type in all of this and what this is gonna do type hey now brown cow go to a new line and on that new line we want to output don't jump that fence and then we're just going to go to a new line for fun. So now we have a useful function right here. But before we execute this, we're going to need to do a couple things. The first thing that we want to do is system. And then in our quotation marks, we want to type the word pause. And I'll actually, if I remember, show you guys why this is useful. What this does is allows you to stop and look at our function instead of just running it. I'll run it without this and uh, show you guys what it does. And um, the next thing you're going to want to do is type return zero. And what this does is pretty much end the main function. Since C++ is going to run through this, go, 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 but it's not going to know where to end. Right here, we're just telling, all right, return zero. Pretty much, all right, C++, you did your job. Good job. We're going to end you now. So once you got this all typed, go up here and click save or you go to file, save, either one. And to run it, go up execute and click compile and run. What this is going to do, as you can see, check for errors and run your program. As you can see, if this box comes up, then we got no errors. And as you can see it says hey now brown cow and on our new line don't jump that fence. And as you can see let's just click out of that. If you don't edit insert that system pause what it's going to do when execute compile and run is it's just going to run your program and I don't know if you could see it on YouTube but it just flashed real quick and it didn't give you a time to stop and actually look at the program. So you're gonna have to make sure that you have that system pause in there. So study this and again to recap we have a function named main that's called the header function header. This is called the function body and all these little things are called statements that give instructions tell the function what to do. So study this. This is a real basic C++ tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And um, just wait. And after some of these tutorials, we'll be an expert C++ programmer in no time. And remember, if you like my tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.